Around a year ago, I created and uploaded the video Why don't I talk to women? And now it is one of the most viewed videos on the channel. The reason behind it is not because of the video is such a great video, but because I was running ads for this video. Currently, I don't run any ads for my channel, which is why you probably can see why my views are going down. Because with ads it works, without ads it doesn't really work. But in the end of that, since it was the most viewed video on my channel, I also have the most comments by that video. And it was interesting to read them. And when I did it recently, I thought, did my opinion change? Do I still think that I shall not talk to women? Or like, how can I can talk to women? Why don't I talk to women in dating situations? Except for the fact that I currently have a girl girlfriend. Yeah, did my opinion change since one year? More about that in today's video. But obviously before we begin, I have to tell you that this is your experience and here I share my various opinions about different topics. I currently do one video per week, Mondays, and if you want, you can Subscribe? Yes, yeah, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment about some topic or maybe about talking to women or gender roles or whatever, or leave a like. Let's begin. As I already mentioned, the name, the title of the video is pretty, I can call it eye-catching, which is why kind, there are different various kinds of comments under that video. By the way, I want to tell you that I also obviously had this video on my journal, German and Russian channels, and on German channel I have less comments out under that video and they are more like not that radical, I would call it like that. And on Russian, I didn't run ads for Russian video, which is why it didn't have as many views as the English version and as German versions had. What kind of comments did I get? Some personal attacks, which is like always fun, always good, like uh, about my appearance or about me, how do I act? And I kind of ignore them anyway because they are not really helpful for the conversation. Then there are comments from different radical groups like radical feminists, like red pill or like red, radical red pill community about A, B, me being sexist or me being bad for women or something like that or B, me not being alpha, being beta, sigma, whatever other Greek letter they can use. So yeah, these comments also didn't help me a lot because they are way too radical for my like point of view for life. Then there were some kind of interesting comments with old times, how it was prior to now, how did society work prior to now, like people who are currently in their 60s, 70s or 40s, 50s, whatever, people from generations older than mine talking about pretty much same stuff. And that was, that was indeed interesting and I will mention that in a moment, like in different part of this video. And also there were obviously comments with support, with suggestions, what to do, and I am very thankful, especially for support. Uh, to be honest with you, the support comments were like the real minority of all the comments, but still, thank you a lot. And some of the suggestions were helpful and other suggestions were less helpful because like for example, suggestion finding a new hobby is not really a good suggestion for me personally. Overall, yes, indeed. Overall, finding a new hobby, finding a new environment is a very helpful idea if you want to meet new people and obviously if you want to meet a potential partner. But in my case, like I have enough hobby, I had enough hobbies, but obviously I don't expect every viewer from each video to know my background and what I did prior to now and how many hobbies I had and what hobbies I tried, what hobbies I didn't try. So yeah, suggestions are very helpful, but maybe not really for my personal story. Another interesting like group of people who overlapped with prior groups were people who missed a point of the video. Like, for example, people who were talking about friendship with women, although in the video I explicitly was talking about relationship with, with a woman or like meeting a woman with a target of relationship. And there were comments like, do you not talk with all women like at all? Do you, don't, do you not talk with women at work? Or do you not talk with women at your hobbies? Or do you don't talk with your parents and your mother? And I was like, it is a completely different context and completely different intention that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about friendships. Friendships are easier if you want to call it like that because they normally provide context. 
they have context of hobby because we have a hobby that both of us participate in. There is a context of other friends. Maybe you are a friend of a friend, which makes it easier for me to talk to you and to create this friendship relationship with you. But to create a relationship relationship, it is a, like a little bit but a different scale. And also it, it is readiness to go away from the idea of friendship. Because with a person with whom you are in relationship, you are not only in friendship. There are some people who would even say relationship and friendship are completely different things. It's not my opinion, but there are people who think like that, who differentiate between these two things like entirely. And based on my understanding, it is extremely important to make it clear from the very beginning, what do you want out of this relationship? Do you want a friendship or you want to a relationship because and that's number two if you are giving mixed sig signals there are high probabilities that you will land in the friend zone and in my personal opinion friend zone is on a lot of occasions a decision of both part of both parties both participators and it also kind of a default setting you are probably more probably come to this friend zone trap if you want to call it like that because you cr are creating a friendship you are not creating a relationship and these things in my personal opinion not in opinion of all people but in my personal opinion these two things overlap greatly but there is a pretty not small difference in the intention and into in this idea of can we live together for our life normally when we come into a relationship at least in my opinion people think like long term can I marry this person? Do I see myself with this person in many years? Obviously it depends on the age of both of these people when both of them are 16. It's normally not the case, but if both people are like 25 or 28 or 30, they normally are thinking about long-term perspective, not a short-term one. But you don't necessarily have to think in the same way about friends. For some friends come and go. There are some like, like core of your friends for a lot of people who remain throughout your life, but a lot of friends come and go. So you don't really need to put so much thought, so much ideas in this process, which is why all these comments that we're talking about, why don't you create friends uh, who are women and then try to create a relationship? Why uh, don't you, do you not talk to women like at all? They are kind of missing a point, the point of that video. The point of that video was men are required to talk to women, men are required to start a relationship, but on the other hand it is extremely difficult for men to do so because there is some like loud minority of people who, are, who will like react extremely bad to this inter possible interaction, to this first step. What? You asked me whether I have time for a coffee break? No. It's not possible, I think you're an ugly person, and so on, and so on, and so on, until like rapist. I'm pretty sure there are people who would call you a rape or a rapist just because you ask them out. Now I have a girlfriend. I mentioned it already in my I'm back video. I currently have a girlfriend. I am in a happy relationship with this person. Did my opinion on this matter change? To be honest with you, no. I like there are some small changes but they are not due to the fact that i currently have a relationship because that relationship was created like many years ago when i first met that person because i met my current girlfriend like 10 years ago or something like that so it's not the same it's not the same that currently for me to go to some cafe or bar or my, I don't know, train station and try to talk to some random person with the idea to, of going on a date in some near future. It's not the same. But there were some interesting points in the comments and one of them is the, the, my idea or my like fear that I had and still have to some degree of talking with new women, women uh, for, in order to get a date with them. This idea is something that people in the cities have, in big cities have, but it is not something that people in, like, in smaller towns and in villages have. I personally obviously don't have so much experience with smaller towns and smaller villages because I live for my whole life in rather like big towns or big cities. But based on some of the comments and based on experience that I get or got from other people that I know who were growing up in like these kinds of these kinds of environments, 
it is kind of true it's not that much of a deal in like smaller environments in yeah smaller cities where basically a lot of people know each other anyway another interesting idea came from these people who were talking about old times and resistance this resistance that you need to overcome in order for that person to like see you as a pers possible date partner it is something that was always there the way we perceive stuff the way what we see as possible as allowed in society changed but this overall idea this overall like fear of being called a pervert if you want that was for all times that was that was there all the times it's just now it is okay to do like only specific kind of approaching but earlier that kind of approaching that we currently find not possible or not allowed or like bad earlier it was okay because of the various reasons there can be various reasons for that but the point is what i thought as a possible idea of approaching a woman for example in a bar in a cafe in on the streets basically it's something that was in the past but it's not something that is in the modern times and it is kind of how the life goes which doesn't mean that in earlier times it was easier for men to do so it was more like the consequences were different like the price that you had to pay in a, in this like in being a psychological price or whatever the price that you had to pay in order to interact with a person was like different than it is right now and in conclusion i will say the answer the last thing is modern solutions provide modern problems because normally you know the sentence in the other way around modern problems require modern solutions but i think that the fact that how quick currently society is how quick we currently are with information with information flow going out and in and whatnot it became the dating world became different to what it was as much as 20 years ago maybe even 10 years ago tinder wasn't a thing like many years ago. i'm not sure when tinder was created you can write it down in the comments but tinder is not a thing that since long times since long a period of time it is still not very usual and not common for people to meet on tinder and create relationship out of it some people even feel bad about themselves about their relationship because they found each other on tinder which in my personal opinion is bullshit but i mean to each their own but they spread information this different view on how we comprehend hand life that led to the fact that what we considered a normal way of approaching is not normal anymore and we don't really have currently any new ways of approach except for like kind of risking just risking and going for it which on the other hand didn't really change there was like the idea didn't change you have to risk and go for it but nowadays i personally think that the price for risking and going for it is higher than it was again 20 30 years ago when it was more normal to approach people you don't know on the streets but that's my personal opinion that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video if it is the case please drop a like you can also subscribe to the channel you can also leave a comment and yeah i see you next monday have a great week